In this video, I'm going to walk through how you can use artificial intelligence to create a t-shirt design completely for free. So you don't need to use expensive software. Let's jump in. All right, the artificial intelligence site that I'm gonna be using is called Dream by Wombo. It's completely free. I use it all the time. It's dream.ai. And you're just looking for this create button when you get on this on the page. You, I've signed up in to get the account and it's completely free. There's also a free app and you're looking for the create button. It's on the top right, or it's just as you scroll down, you'll see create. There's create on a few different areas. I'm gonna click start creating. You wanna to get to this prompt that looks like this, okay? Now you're gonna have four output screens on the right-hand side. Three of them are premium, one of them is free. Everything in this video is gonna be completely free. So I'm only looking at the top left box. Pretty easy to do, you're gonna type in a prompt. So in this example, I'm gonna type in Egyptian goddess, and then I'm going to pick some sort of art style. So I can scroll down and I can see there's some premium styles. There's lots of free styles. So I'm going to pick, for example, Retro Sci-Fi V2, and I'll click Create. It'll take a second, and it'll give us back a result. Now, sometimes the results are terrible, and sometimes the results are awesome. It totally depends on the style and how much text you're adding. You know, the computer's really powerful, but it can also be pretty dumb. So I really like the way this looks. This is very nice. So this is the preview. I'll close it. To download it, you're going to click the bottom left. Now, I, before I download it, though, I'm just going to click Create one more time just to show you it's not going to be the exact same, but it could be similar if you click it and create it a bunch. So here's a completely different one. It was the exact same prompt, and I'll just do it one more time. Okay, so I'm quite happy with this one as well. There we go. Now, what I would recommend you do to get good at Dream by Wombo is to try different styles with the exact same prompts just to compare. So I'm gonna click on Dark Fantasy V3 and I'll click Create. And again, I'm using the exact same prompt as before. This one took a little while to render, but you can see the results are completely different than what it was before. So I'm actually gonna use this one. So I'm gonna click the Download option. It's on the lower left-hand side and that's gonna give me my picture. And you can see right there, it comes back with a JPEG file. It's not very large, but we'll get we'll work through that. And I'm going to click, click Save File. And if you're wondering how large the file is, it is 960 pixels by 1568 pixels, 96 DPI. It's not very large. Okay, so next up is to resize our image if you like. It's totally optional. I'm on a site here called imageresizer.com. Pretty straightforward. You're going to select your image right here in the middle. It's uploaded my image now, and then I can simply change the dimensions of it over here on the left-hand side. I like using a percentage. I'm just going to double it, make it 200, and you'll see here the original size make my image 200% of original size, which will be 1920 by 3136, and that changes as I go. You can make it smaller, you can make it larger, and then I'm gonna click resize. It's pretty quick, and now I'm gonna click download image, and it's just a JPEG file, the exact same as before. And here we can see the original image that I've got is 960 by 1568, and the new one is 1920 by 3136. So that can be really helpful if you're trying to make your design larger for say Merch by Amazon or Redbubble, that kind of thing. And if you'd like to remove the background, there's a number of online background remover tools. Here's just one that I picked at random. This one's called experte.com. And I'm gonna go up here to design, and then I'm going to go into design tools. From here, you've got a few different options. I'm gonna click the first one, which is background remover. And it's pretty easy, I'll just select the image. Okay, so I'm not wild about this because it's got the dress sort of fading away. So I'm gonna show you another background remover as well. Another option for background removal is Lunapic. I'm gonna upload my photo. It says edit a photo right here, click upload. And here is my photo. And then from here, I can go under edit. And down near the bottom, it says auto background removal new. And just like that, it's edited the background. Now there's a little bit of haze at the bottom, but boy, I could certainly live with that. I think this looks pretty nice. So I'm going to download this right now. It's a quite a large size. And then to download the image over on the left, there's a little save button, and I'm gonna click save. And it gives me all these options to save. I'm gonna save as PNG because that's transparent. And I think that would look really nice on a t-shirt because the different colors of the t-shirt would then shine through. I hope you found this video walkthrough helpful. I like using AI art. The original website is called Dream by Wombo. I highly recommend you fiddle around on it and kill a couple hours with the different styles. Scroll down and you'll notice there's many, many, many more styles, lots and lots of free options. You can just have a blast just walking through the different styles. Here's another video on how you can supercharge your print-on-demand journey for free.